Good day everyone, you're watching Raytube. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a photo album uh, using PowerPoint. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. To begin with, uh, let's open PowerPoint uh, on the computer. I have PowerPoint 2010 installed on the computer. Now, these uh, using this, uh, this features can be used in 2010, 2013 and 2016 and also with the previous version. So once you have a open PowerPoint on your computer, uh, click on the insert tab from the top left corner of your screen and click on the photo album from the drop down. You will see two options here. Uh, one is new photo album, which has been highlighted, which is enabled. And another one is edit photo album. I'm going to talk uh, talk about a bit about how uh, what is edit photo album. Now let's begin with uh, clicking on new photo album here. Now I'm going to, uh, it would open up photo album window. Now uh, to give you a brief uh, of this particular option, on the left hand side, um, this particular option, you will see pictures in the album and on the right hand side, it will show you the preview. Uh, it will show you what are the images which you have inserted in the photo album. Uh, on the um, here you will see insert photo picture from now what i've done is uh, on my desktop i've created a folder which is called uh, albums i'm going to images from this albums folder so i'm going to click on file from a disk and i'm going to click on the drop down menu here and um, click on albums and i'm going to select all the pictures i want if i don't want um, I, I if i want to select only few pictures i can go ahead and select um, few pictures or else I can select one picture and press Control A on my keyboard that will select all the pictures otherwise uh, you can select one picture at a time now that is a tedious task let's not do it since I have all these images about seven images I would go ahead and select all the images and click on insert now if you click on the drop down menu you have a couple of options here you have insert link to a file and show previous version now do not click on link to a file let's say you um, if you click on link to a file if you um, these files will not be embedded in the I'll, whatever pictures you insert in the uh, powerpoint will not be embedded in the uh, powerpoint let's say you take this particular file into a different computer uh, those you will see a red cross icon because these files are linked these are not embedded so always make sure you select insert and uh, that will insert all the images what I have in the albums folder in the photo uh, album content now if I select one image at a time it will give you a preview now let's say I want to go ahead and edit an image uh, here I have an option to rotate it or rotate it 360 degrees 90 degrees or 360 degrees I can also increase the contrast of the, uh, this particular image either increase it or decrease it I can also increase the brightness and decrease the brightness I can do some sort of modification here this is about uh, modifying the images now I can also insert a text box um, here uh, let's say in between the slide I can also insert a text box if you don't want the text box you can go ahead and remove it and I can also sort the images I can either do it here or else I can go to um, the slide edit mode and I can go ahead and uh, edit uh, sort the album instead what I would do is I can go ahead and also sort I want this picture at the top so right now this picture is at the top amazing waterfall picture is at the top and this is how I can go ahead and sort it and if I want all the pictures to be in black and white I can go ahead and select this option all the pictures what I have inserted in the uh, PowerPoint I can go ahead and convert it into a black and white picture I'm going to uncheck this box and here I have album layout here uh, I can select the album uh, the pictures what I've inserted to be fit into a slide if I want one picture in a slide I can select here and if I want two pictures in a slide I can have two pictures in one slide and I can also have two pictures with title or four pictures with title so this is how I can go ahead and go ahead and modify it and I can also have a frame for each picture um, I can have center shadow this will give you a, a bit a nice a nice look for the pictures what you have inserted I can also have a caption for each, each image is what I've inserted in the photo album if I want the captions I can go ahead and check the options here and if you have any themes um, any themes which you have already designed you can go ahead and um, select the themes from the browse option these are the themes which are already available uh, by default so I will not go ahead and select it and I would go ahead and create it so this is how the album has been created 
Now, if I want to go ahead and edit any pictures which I've already edited, I can select the picture and I can go to Format tab and I can go ahead and make the correction or I can change the color of the picture here. Okay, this is how I can go ahead and change the color. I can also have individual frame for each picture. If I want to look at a little bit good, I can go ahead and select the frame. Okay, so this is how the picture album would look. This is how you can go ahead and create a photo album in PowerPoint. Uh, you can make it more, uh, if you want, you can make it more, uh, look more professional. Um, this is how you can go ahead and make it. Let's say you have already created an album and you want to edit it. You don't want to edit it one by one. Uh, what I can do is I can go to insert again, click on photo album option and click on edit photo album. So here I can go ahead and remove the pictures. Again, I can change the format. Um, black and white or I can uh, I don't want four pictures in a slide I want only one picture I can select soft edge corner and I can increase the picture and click on update so this is how my photo album will look now um, if you want to save it you can go ahead and click on file click on save as and um, instead of having dot ppt I will save it as PowerPoint show this will sh uh, save the uh, PowerPoint presentation in slideshow format. So I'm going to go to save this particular picture in albums and click on save. So right now this album is saved. Uh, let me open this folder. And if I op double click on this file, it will open up in the PowerPoint slideshow format. I hope you uh, find this video useful. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.